What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, FB Aftermath. Check this out. We are going to go through exercises that I feel are most important when it comes to running. Running faster, running more efficient, working those muscles, those areas, those smaller muscles to help you become a, a faster and better sprinter. All right? But before we get this started, you already know Creative Labs earbuds right here. Super wireless earbuds right here. All right, the gold layer. I think nah, that we have the gold layer called Gold Out Layer Air, which have like some gold and stuff in it. And it's like, like 10 bucks more. But anyways, these go for $79.99 with my discount, about $71 uh, with free shipping. So use code AFTERMATH, link will be in the description, to grab these bad boys. So don't miss that. Also, Twitch streams at twitch.tv slash FBAFTERMATH. Be there, catch me there, let's game together. If you're not good on Apex, you can just sit there and watch. And uh, if you're not good on Mortal Kombat, you can sit there and watch also. But either way, we can still be somewhat connected, you know? But that being said, let's get to the workout. Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. All right, so when you think of running, right, you think of legs first, right? Well, let's not go all the way down to legs. Let's go about mid-body and to the waist area, the hip areas, that the, the joints that are most used to pick up the legs for you, to allow you to move, right? So we're gonna warm up with these movements. We're gonna do some in and outs, right, with the knees and stuff. We're gonna do some hip stuff, bringing those hips in, bringing those inner, those inner thighs in a little bit and then working on those hips. And the first thing we wanna do, we're gonna come from a hanging position, right? And this is the first part of your legs when you've been doing a lot of running. This area in your hips and your groin is what usually gets tired the most and hurts the most after a long days of running or even sports activity. So what you wanna do, I would, I would prefer to get one of these right here just so you don't have to hold it because you wanna really focus on this area. Keep your body straight. Squeeze your glutes, and what we're gonna do, boom, up, boom, two, boom, three, boom, four, and don't just drop it down. I want that motion, boom, down. Just like you were doing running, you bring it up, boom. Other leg up, boom. Other leg up, boom. But we wanna be in control, so we wanna do this slow. Boom. Hold it up for two seconds each time. So do that 10 times. I'm gonna do this for three sets. And as time goes on, you'll start adding weight to this. So what I'll do is with the smaller machines like this, usually I attach them to the cables. Have the things, but they don't have the fucking things here which gets on my nerves where they wrap around your ankle. Oh. So, starting out, glutes in, fuck the pelvis in, straight leg, One, get it out there two, and hold it. Four, eight, exercises I feel like are just the greatest even over regular squats is the box squat all right working the glutes working the hamstrings really working those areas that we really don't activate enough and also creating so much posterior change strength and explosiveness that it definitely transfers into the movement now what I do is is I involve the contrast type of training when doing this so we'll do 10 reps right here explosive sitting back getting a nice base about like right side out of the shoulders width, toes pointed slightly out, right? So I'm coming down, coming down, sitting back, and they're really driving up, really pushing. When you run, you want that drive. When you push through this, you want, you want your hip area up here. You don't want it back here lagging. 
because when you back here lagging, you're having to really reach and then push over, and then that's when that's when a lot of a lot of the uh, the injuries, quad stuff happens. All right, and then on top of that, you got to build that glute and hamstring strength because when you come out of this, boom, 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 you're you're trying to as you're you're driving, you're driving, you're driving, you're driving. You want those hips to come up too and not stay back, right? You don't want to shorten the length of, of this, right? The shorter, shorter length right here, when you come up here, boom. So you got that carry, that carry over, and you want to be able to propel and go forward at maximum speed. The driving phase is to get to that speed, boom, 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 boom. And as you're coming up, you're starting to expand the length of, uh, of what you travel. So that being said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 reps, right? Right about shoulder width, four to five sets, and we're gonna do three reps of seated uh, uh, jumps. So we're gonna be explosive three times, as, fa as, much, as high as we can. Next up will be, I know a lot of people don't have um, access to a prowler, you know, so, or even a tire, because you could possibly do this with a tire. Uh, I'm talking about the movement. But one thing I want to focus on when it comes to using a prowler. Now, when you do weighted movements, like, understand that weight, honestly, like, they, they in, a, in a way, they make you stronger, you have more powerful, but they can make you slower if you're not incorporating the right training along with the weight training. If you only do weight training, then you're gonna get slower. You're gonna get slower because you're not working at the correct speeds that your body needs to, working those fast switch muscles that your body needs to work in order to get, you know, into pretty much break those limits. Break those limits into that, that faster 40, that, that, that higher vertical, um, just faster movements in general. So with this, as you see, a lot of things that I'm talking about today deal with the posterior chain. Now, I know a lot of you start in the driving phase when it comes to um, prowlers, right? So what I want actually is I want you to stick it out. I want you to be right here. I don't want you to be right here. I don't want your butt back. I want your butt in, right? And I want you to step into each, each one. Boom, boom. You see how I'm right here? and not right here like everybody else. You're down here, boom, right? And then this is that phase coming out of that driving phase, really trying to push those, those glutes and those hips forward into that propelling, opening up that stride. So we're right here, boom, squeezing those glutes, bringing that knee in as we worked on before. Strong knee, strong knee up, pushing in, boom. Pushing in, two, pushing in, three. Not like this, remember, not like this. Up and march into it. Push those hips forward. Continue to try to push those hips forward every step. Squeeze those glutes. It's about 12 reps. If you're going to do the lower end, you're going to start and push like this. If you do this type of exercise, what I want you to do, five hard steps. Five hard steps and break off on that, on that sixth. So let me pull this back a little bit. Three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five. And then break off. That way, you're getting a resistance. You're getting that hard 
resistance in that start, that drive, boom, because your drive wants to be hard, explosive, very aggressive. Breaking off from that weight, it's almost like, like a relief, like your body feels a bit lighter and you get just a more explosive fiber two muscles uh, activation in that movement. So when you do prowlers, that's something you need to do. Try this out, it's a very good movement for all athletes of any type of sport, period, no matter what. Now this last exercise that I'm gonna show you guys, it might catch you off guard, cause you're gonna be like, what, really? Like, no, nah, there's other exercises that are a lot better that you could do. These are my top four, my best top four, in my opinion, all right? When I do my top four exercises, this is what I've done in my years to get where I am. And, you know, for those who don't know, four, 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 seven, 40, uh, pretty much a 45 inch vertical. Um, been dunking since seventh grade. Um, 11 foot broad jump at 220 pounds plus. And like, I still have these abilities, you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm kind of eating like not that well lately. I had the fattest meal of Chick-fil-A today. But with this training, like these are things that I know work for a fact. Now there might be other opinions in the chat like, why don't you add this? Why don't you add this? This is four of my best exercises that I do on a consistent basis. Now, let's get to the last exercise. You don't move without this. Look how dumb you look when you're trying to move without your arms. You can do like this. You know what I'm saying? You gotta use your arms to get somewhere, right? If you don't move your arms when you're running straight, when you're running in an angle, you're not gonna get there as fast. Trying to, you know, you gotta use when you even turn. You gotta use the momentum of this elbow to go that way to turn faster. When you wanna go forward, boom, you gotta propel yourself with your shoulders. The shoulders is the hinge of every movement, front, back, it doesn't matter where you're at. And fast shoulders, fast, strong, mobile shoulders will make you dominant in movement, in speed, in jumping. That being said, this is one thing that I do right here. Boom, boom. So I'm really trying hard to keep that 90 pivot, even though my tight ass Really can't pull that off. 10 seconds on. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Now, my mobility sucks in my shoulders, specifically because I've been hammering on benching, and benching takes a lot of mobility away from shoulder movement. So that's why I said, when it comes to athletic performance, specifically in mobility for the shoulders, benching is not the great, it's not a great exercise. If you want more athletic abilities and shit, focus more on the deadlift and the squat. Keep benching to a minimum. And uh, that's why I like lately, I've been trying to keep it to a minimum because I'll be getting a little bit more open, I like visualization and mobility and stuff. And uh, luckily this lower bed has actually been helping me out because the bed before, I didn't like the texture of it, the feel. And uh, this bed has really been, like I, could, I can comfortably put my arm under the pillows and stuff, even though I'm not supposed to, and it really like messes up the shoulder, sleeping like, like this and shit. Um, you're supposed to sleep, I'm supposed to sleep on my back. I sleep like this or on my side, and that messes up the shoulder. But check out Lil' Bed. My shoulder's been a lot better. $150 discount, link in the description. Yes, I just plugged that joint in just like that. So that being said, we got two more sets of this in and out the workout. As you can see, I'm sweating. I'm working right now, getting really active tonight. Uh, and yeah, what's my heart rate at? Heart rate's at 120, so it's resting. It was at 132 a moment ago. All right, let's get it. Oh, what's hard about that is not only is the, the fast movement, the abs are being worked very hard in this movement, specifically because I'm trying to keep myself, my body down, right? Because I could just go super crazy, but trying to keep my center of balance and control in that mid area so I don't go flying off everywhere. Uh, but you already know guys, make sure you like this video. Uh, algorithm's changing on YouTube, so apparently the more likes, the better the video does. So if I could simply get you guys support, that would mean so much. You know, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Also hit that notification button. Make sure you're logged into YouTube when you hit that notification button so you get notifications other videos. I know a lot of you have been confused about why you're not getting them because a lot of people aren't logged in. So that being said, catch you guys on my Twitch streams, catch you guys walking around or whatever. If you see me say something 
and uh, we got videos coming where I'll be training people. So you'll see me and see how I train people. If you're interested in personal training, online training, email me at teron2311 at gmail.com. Catch you guys later. Just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you're.